wave property developers also came under pressure on both uh, the mainland and Hong Kong forces. This comes as authorities announced moves to streamline mortgage financing from the National Housing Provident Fund. So that's a quick update of the Asian markets. Back to you, Ross. Thanks very much indeed uh, for that, Sichuan. Let's get a few more thoughts uh, from Yannick. Um, what's the role of the ECB going to be? Well, I think this year. I think we will see more easing from the ECB. Uh, first of all, because the uh, uh, economic picture in uh, Europe is, slight, is not as good as in UK mm. or as in the uh, States or as in Japan. We will s you're probably going to see a third uh, LTRO. I think it's, it's in the card. We might see a uh, negative interest rate. I don't really think so, but it's possible. Mm. So it could very well be the most accommodative uh, central bank in 2014. How does that translate into what happens to European stocks? Well, I think it's a, it's a positive factor. I think what we have seen, the, the problem until, uh, until now was the fact that regardless of the uh, interest rate uh, set in, uh, by the ECB, the rate of funding for most of companies and a lot of banks and a lot of countries in peripheral Europe was very different. Now we see some normalization. I mean, if we look at uh, the 10-year uh, yield in, in Italy or in yeah. Spain, we probably, I think, a three-year low or three-year-and-a-half low. In uh, Ireland, it's extremely low as well. So all in all, we see uh, that the cost of funding is getting a bit more uh, homogeneous within the, within the Eurozone. And that should be positive for SMEs uh, if uh, bank lending uh, starts yeah. again and, uh, and company uh, overall. A yeah, couple of stocks you... Um, you, you say a, se a sector that underperformed last yeah. year was uh, big European oil and um, yes. exploration companies. You say this might rebound, you know, Galp and a, and a gear and stat oil. Yeah. Why? I, I think, I mean, the va I mean, value, is, I mean, value are, you know, are quite expensive. I mean, the market has been really quite a lot last year, yeah. a bit less in Europe than in States, but overall in terms of uh, price earning, it's still very high. So I think that instead of just doing index following, I think 2014 will be a year of uh, relative value. Within uh, the universe, we, I think that the European uh, ENP company have been underperforming quite a lot. I mean, they, they, there's been no growth of, uh, of production. They have been uh, spending a lot of money in terms of uh, uh, capex. I think this will come to an end. I mean, we're probably going to see a small growth of, uh, of oil production, mm -hmm. a better cash flow, much lower capex across the industry, and therefore, uh, a lot of large, boring uh, ENP companies should uh, should uh, do very well within uh, within this uh, this group. I favor Statoil because uh, I think they will have some uh, currency effect. The the Norwegian krone is much lower mm. now than it used to be. Uh, the investment in the third quarter we saw that they're cutting sharply on capex, yeah. and the trend would continue. And on the other end of it is Galp, which is a uh, a uh, Portuguese uh, uh, oil company which is moving from downstream into upstream with very, very good, uh, very interesting prospect. So I think both companies could do, uh, could do well in 2014. Yannick, we, we wish you do well as Thank well you. in 2014. Thank Come you. back, we'll see, see how you're getting on. Yannick, no, portfolio manager at Sturgeon Capital. Always good to see you. Thank you. I've got any thoughts or comments. Don't forget, you can email us worldwide at CNN.